Go ahead, Ed. Thank you. So everyone who knows me thinks I'm super confident, outgoing, and I'm a bit of a joker. Um, I am all these things, but I'm also a ninja worrier. So I worry about absolutely everything and anything. And as Anxiety Girl shows, I'm able to jump to the worst conclusion in a single bound. Um, I've also had quite bad panic attacks since my early 20s, and this is a symptom of my anxiety. So last year, my new husband, Martin, said to me, oh, should we go traveling? And I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I can do that. But we had a good long chat and we decided to take the plunge and book our round the world tickets to Dubai, New Zealand, Australia, Fiji and Thailand. So really excited about this. But as a ninja warrior, there were lots of things I was absolutely terrified about. So one of those things is I'm absolutely terrified of flying and I was going to be embarking on 13 flights. 13, number 13 as well. So that was also quite scary. Um, and one of the longest flights was going to be 18 hours long. I was like, I don't know if I can do this. Um, one of the other things I'm really scared of when going to Oz are spiders. So um, there's lots of spiders that can kill you in Australia. And although no one's died of a spider bite since 1979, I was like, well, surely they're due someone to die from a spider bite? So I was like, that's bound to be me, surely. Um, lots of other things that scared me, shark attacks, um, earthquakes in New Zealand, tsunamis in Thailand, they have those signs everywhere, tsunami warnings, I'm like, yeah, that's really great, really, really comforting to know. Um, yeah, coconuts as well, more people die from falling coconuts than shark attacks, so I was like, I'm bound to die from a falling coconut then. Um, but I knew I had to make the leap, I knew these were all irrational fears, I thought, I've just got to do it, just man up, just, I hate that term, man up, I don't know why I've just said that, but I thought, I've got to do it. But I arrived in Dubai, and my anxiety took hold, and I had a massive panic attack, couldn't breathe, I was like, the air's different, I'm going to die, I can't do this. And Martin said to me, babe, we can go home if you want, and I was like, I'm not fucking going home, I've just bought these round the world tickets, there's no way I'm going home. So... As a result, I had the best four months of my life. I, I literally had the most amazing experiences, like I swam the Great Barrier Reef. I killed it a koala, it was so cool. Um, I went kayaking, um, I held a crocodile, another thing I thought was definitely gonna kill me, ironic really. Um, and we met some amazing people, some, some amazing friends who came to our wedding and they traveled from Melbourne and Thailand to come to our wedding, which was just amazing. Um, so I knew that change was happening. I knew that I changed totally as a person. I didn't want to keep thinking, you can't do this. And I thought I've got to keep challenging myself. So I basically continued to challenge myself by having a year of just saying yes. So instead of saying, oh, I don't know if I could do that, I'm like, oh, sorry, I'm going to do it. What's the worst that can happen? So a couple of things I've done. Well, I love rugby, I'm a bit of a tomboy, so I tried ladies American football. Woo. Yeah, so it was really cool. There I am at the bottom of the pyramid. I was on the bottom because I was one of the heaviest girls. Thanks very much. Um, and I did break my wedding ring finger two months before getting married, and I was like, oh, that's pretty pants, but it healed and the, 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 the ring fit, so that was great. Um, I also tried whitewater rafting. I was convinced I was going to like drown and it was going to capsize, but it was amazing. It was so much fun. I would definitely recommend everyone doing it. Did a 5k rainbow run. I had an Alice in Wonderland themed wedding. I did a speech at my wedding. So I hate public speaking. This is literally my idea of hell. So um, I signed up to Ignite as well. I was like, come on, you can do this. Let's challenge yourself even further. And then I applied for a new job. So I had the interview the day after I came back from honeymoon. I was like, this is a lot to fit in, but just say yes, just do it. And that's one of the best just say yes decisions I've made. I'm ab I absolutely love my new job. It's really, really good. So what am I trying to tell you all? 99% of things you worry about don't happen. I thought I was going to die in so many different situations whilst traveling. I didn't. It was amazing. It was fantastic. It's one of the best things I've done. And if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. I hate cheesy quotes, but it's true. Um, so by challenging myself, 
it's helped to increase my confidence, my self-esteem has increased. And I'm not saying this is a cure for anxiety, I'm not. It's a shitty thing to have, but it does make you more confident and think I, I can do things I'm scared of. So my message to everyone is, if you're thinking about trying a new hobby, going traveling, applying for a new job, I know it can be scary, but just freaking do it. Just say yes, because it could be the best thing you ever do. And it definitely was for me. So thank you so much for listening to me. Thank <laughs> you.